What I am, family? It's your boy SNTV back at y'all with another Kings of the Game. And this episode is going to be about none other than Willie Lloyd. Okay, now, right off the back, um, Willie Lloyd was definitely one of those figures on the West Side that a lot of people looked up to. Um, I remember growing up, you know, we looked, we looked up to um, Angelo Roberts a lot more. But what a lot of people don't realize is that... Um, Willie Lloyd was one of the kings that signed off that actually blessed um, Angelo Roberts to even be in the position that he was in. Um, a lot of people know that uh, Willie Lloyd was actually a supreme chief. And what I mean by supreme chief, he actually got to the level at one point to where he was over all of the vice lord factions. Um, Willie Lloyd, you know, he started at a very young age. At like um, 12, he was a part of the Vice Lords. And um, actually, the unknown Vice Lords were completely under the rule of Willie Lloyd. He started very young. He took control very young also. I want to say he had like um, a thousand people up under him. You know what I'm saying? Following him, listening to every word that he said. And it was actually, he actually had a lot of people that was willing to die and that was willing to kill for him. So, um, you know, back in the day, Willie Lloyd, um, he had went to Iowa. He had went to Iowa to hit a lick. And, um, I mean, I don't know if, if he went to Iowa to hit, to hit a lick or if um, it just happened while he was down there. But whatever the case was, he ended up in Iowa and he ended up on a lick and, um, during this lick, uh, the police showed up. So, um, Willie Lord and the guys that he was with were apprehended, but in the process, um, Iowa police officer was killed. So, um, Willie Lord and his guys had, you know, they had got locked up for that. Now, some people say that he received 25 years and only did 15 on it. And some people say that he received a 15 year sentence. Uh, the 25 years sounds more likely, especially if you had anything to do with um, killing a police officer. Then um, by me knowing, you know, how the police work, um, you may not have nothing. You may not have had nothing to do with it. But by you being the leader, they're going to automatically try to, you know, boost boost up and trump your charges and make shit look a lot worse than what it did, what it actually was. Um so after this happened, this automatically um, placed Willie Lloyd on another level in the streets. Um, if you're from Chicago, you already know that it's certain levels. And um, even actually um, in the U.S. period, you, you get placed on a certain level, you know, once you're, once you're a killer, you know what I'm saying, once you become a chief. You, you start, you know what I'm saying, a universal region, anything of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Once you begin to get stars and you begin to get power, you know what I'm saying, the levels go up. But the ultimate level of respect in the streets that one can receive is the level of being a cop killer. And so um, Willie Lloyd was identified with that, even though he wasn't the one that actually killed the cop. You know what I'm saying? He was basically the overseer of the vice lords, and he was... Um, on this lick when it happened. So, you know, he basically got, you know, all of the credit for it and the streets started respecting him as such. So when um when Willie Lloyd now actually at the time before he went to prison, he wasn't as high on the totem pole as he was when he got out. Cause like I said, you know, his reputation went through the roof after this. Okay, so when Willie Lloyd came home for prison after serving the fifteen years you know, he was, you know, he was me. He, he was greeted with, um, I think they said like eight limos and, you know, plenty of women. And, you know, Willie Lloyd just pretty much was, you know, like the savior of the city when he came home, you know, especially on the west side. And so at this time, this is when Willie Lloyd, you know, for me, this is when Willie Lloyd's reign really began. Um, Willie Lloyd began to... Um, basically consolidate the vice lords and he also started um extorting the streets and you know it was a lot of people that you know that didn't like this it was a whole lot of people that didn't like this or whatever so um he ended up getting into it 
he ended up getting into it with a guy by the name of Baby Ty. Now, we all know that, you know what I'm saying, once something's going a certain type of way, you know, the one who's running that operation, he's not necessarily going to be, you know what I'm saying, inclined or, or happy about somebody else just coming along and, you know what I'm saying, taking control. And that was kind of the situation with Willie because, you know, as I said, Willie had did 15 years. So by Willie coming home and just, you know what I'm saying, all, you know, uh, the trumpets are blowing when he come home, a lot of people didn't like that. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that they was going to have to pay Willie dues. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, like I said, Willie began to consolidate the vice lords. And in the, in, in the midst of him consolidating the vice lords, he ended up getting into it with a guy by the name of Baby Ty. And so, um, you know, a younger guy, you know what I'm saying, ambitious, you know, trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to righteously get his name up, even though he was already a high-ranking member. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't finna... He wasn't finna allow Willie to just come back like that and take control. So, you know, uh, a war ensued, and um, Willie ended up kidnapped, kidnapping some of the guy's relatives or whatever. And um, after that happened, Willie ended up getting shot. You know what I'm saying? The guy ended up sending some shooters at Willie. So Willie ended up getting shot. And um, actually, the guys that shot Willie was actually charged. Willie was um, charged, too. On the uh, kidnap, kidnapping, I want to say it was the guy's little brother. It was Baby Ty's little brother. He actually got charged too, but um, Willie ended up beating his charge. He ended up getting acquitted. So um, Willie had ended up back locked up for something. I'm not necessarily sure what he ended up locked up for, but he ended up going to jail and getting back out. Okay, after Willie ended up getting back out, he he did the same thing that he did the first time. You know what I'm saying? He tried to um basically consolidate the vice lords, you know, bring them back and bring all of the vice lord factions under him. But this time it didn't work. And the reason why it didn't work, well, it was a couple of reasons why it didn't work. The first reason why it didn't work was because of, you know, the same reason why um he had problems out of baby tie the first time is because Willie, um, the, you know, the vice lords, you know, they didn't want to give to put Willie in power. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew that they were going to have to pay dues. And, you know, they were the ones out in the streets doing the hits. They were the ones out in the streets selling the dope. And, you know what I'm saying? They were the ones out in the streets that was, you know, doing everything. So they wasn't about to allow, allow Willie for the second time to come out of jail and just reign supreme. Okay. The other reason is because Willie Lloyd has started, um, he has started messing with heroin. And um, if you're a gang member in Chicago, especially the old school gang members, doing drugs wasn't cool back then, especially uh, hard drugs like heroin and crack and cocaine and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like these shorties, they out here now, they just doing everything and it's cool. But see, back then, you know, if you were caught dealing with these type of drugs, I mean, not necessarily dealing them, but if you were caught using these type of drugs, then you would be violated. You see what I'm saying? That was against law for uh, for a member of any of these organizations to actually be using those drugs. So they wasn't about to allow a heroin addict to be the chief over there, you know what I'm saying, over their organization because that would deem the whole organization incompetent. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all really got a fucking heroin addict. Y'all really taking orders from a heroin addict. And that's how a lot of guys looked at it. So, um, amongst many other attempts on his life, there was um, the latest attempt was um, Willie. You know, Willie was walking his dog. Um, him and his wife had, you know, they went out on the town or whatever, and they, you know, they stayed out real late. And I want to say it was like six o'clock in the morning. Willie had went out to walk his dogs, and um, when Willie went out to walk his dogs, he was shot six times. Now, after Willie got shot this last time, it turned Willie to a paraplegic, like he was basically paralyzed from the neck down. And um, this is when you know Willie pretty much began. Actually, before that, 
before that, Willie was starting to change, you know what I'm saying? He was um, starting to get into, you know, trying to help the community out, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get into the, uh, you know, put the guns down movement, you know what I'm saying? Trying to steer the kids in the right way because, you know, like I said, you know, Willie came from that old school. He came from that, you know, that part of the game that, that don't exist no more to where the Chiefs would actually look out for the soldiers, you see what I'm saying? They wanted us to go to school. They wanted the best for us. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, a lot of times it was, it was you know, it was extra motives behind it a lot of the times. But a lot of times you had a lot of these chiefs that were genuinely, you know, they, they genuinely wanted to see, you know, the shorties do the right thing. You see what I'm saying? I, be, I believe that before uh, Willie got hit that last time, that was pretty much the direction that he was going in. And then after he got hit, a lot of people start calling him an outcast. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't the chief no more. He was an outcast. He was a paraplegic. So um, I feel like Willie Lloyd is strong because he finished, he continued to do what it was that he was doing before he had got shot that last time. Now, a lot of people say that the reason why he got shot is because he was starting to change. But, you know, he had already had he had already had that thing with Baby Ty, and then not only that, he was trying to, you know, pretty much, like I said, consolidate the vice lords, and he he began to, you know, extort them. You know what I'm saying? He was making niggas pay dues, and niggas didn't like that. But I think that, you know, the heroin thing, when he got on drugs, like, that was the last straw. So the younger cats, you know, niggas trying to get a name in the streets, they decided they was going to go ahead and uh, kill Willie Lloyd. And a lot of people think that, um, you know, the foes did it. I think some people, I, I've heard some people say that the police did it. But um, this was the vice lords that did this. The vice lords did this because um, they actually wanted to take Willie Lloyd out so that, you know, they wouldn't have to pay dues and things of that nature. And, you know, like Willie Lloyd, Willie Lloyd was like the last, one of the last, you know what I'm saying, chiefs. You see what I'm saying? He was like one of the last kings left. So, you know, Pretty much after they, you know, got him out the way or not necessarily got him out the way, but, you know, they made him a paraplegic. So, you know, what else could he do? Um, after they got him out the way, they knew that, you know, it was pretty much up from there. Um, this hit was basically uh, signed off on by the, you know, by the big heads that were in the vice lords at that time. You know what I'm saying? They all agreed. You know what I'm saying? They had a meeting about it, and they all agreed that Willie Lloyd had to go, that he was uh, he was setting a bad example, and that he was no longer the chief of the vice lords. And it's a lot of people that knows about the story of Willie Lloyd, but they don't necessarily know the ins and the outs. Like, um, Willie Lloyd was actually real cool with Bishop Magic Don Juan. A lot of people don't know that. And the reason why I know that is because... Um, the first time I ever seen, the first time I ever met Don Juan, he was actually um, with Willie Lloyd, and um, I can't I can't remember exactly where I seen him at. I know it was a restaurant, and I know it was on Madison, but um, he was actually w with Willie Lloyd, and you know, we were starstruck because um, we had never met Magic, and I actually didn't know who Willie Lloyd was the first time I seen him, and um. But, you know, my cousin did. My cousin, Willie, um, Bishop Magic Don Juan is actually my cousin's uncle. So, you know, Magic would always, you know, come around. He had, a, um, he had like, a green and gold Rolls Royce at the time, one of those old school Rolls Royces, you know, the, the Rolls Royces that are, like, made out of steel, you know, the ones that you, you can't even, like, if you if you crash into somebody in one of those, you're going to tear their whole car up and, you know, they, you know, they car going to be straight, but... You know, the Rolls Royce is going to be straight, but they car going to be tore up. He had one of those, and he would ride around the neighborhood or whatever, but I actually never, like, you know, met met uh, Magic, you know what I'm saying, until that day. And like I said, um, you know, Willie Lloyd, he had, you know what I'm saying, he was greatly respected, and he had, you know, a whole lot of respect. I think that he lost his, um, he lost his momentum when he started to um, – he started to do drugs, and also he kept going back to jail. You see what I'm saying? 
But we do know that um, Willie Lloyd, which is part of the reason why a lot of people say that the police did it, Willie Lloyd was definitely on that radar with the police in Chicago. And we all know when you get on that radar with the police in Chicago, they will stop at nothing to either kill you or get you off the streets. And then if they get you off the streets, once they get you off the streets, they will continue to try to do little things to get you to, you know what I'm saying, commit more crimes from in jail so they can keep you in jail. And that's the CPD for you. But anyway, on the streets, um, Willie carried a big stick Lord, indeed. Thought by section. some to have a Napoleon um, complex. Rest in peace, Chief Willie. And that's it. It's your boy SNTV. Once again, I'm out.